I need you. Can't do it without you. I need your idealism. I need your energy. I need your passion for justice. American dream is fast fading into the American nightmare, especially for America's youth. But real change that accrues to your benefit can't possibly come from the two major parties. We need something new. We need something bold. We need a third choice. For that to happen, millions of us must join together. Uncle Mark wants you to enlist in the greatest revolution of all time, of all time. If we honestly assess the financial prospects for the majority of America's youth, the forecast is pretty bleak. The American dream has been lost to all but a small number of you because both the Republicans and Democrats have presided over the decline in the national economy over the past decades. Just a few generations ago, with no more education than a high school diploma, a young American could enter the workforce and within a couple of years earn enough to get married, purchase a modest home, own one new car, and support two children with one of the parents staying home to care for them, all the while having the assurance that medical care and retirement income were being securely provided for. Today, this is nearly impossible. For most Americans, even two incomes doesn't quite reach that level of comfort and security. The decline of the national economy is bad enough, but many of you are suffering further. You've been victimized by a predatory scam that going deeply into debt to secure a four-year college degree would guarantee you a career leading to financial security, only to find that the job you have could have been obtained without a college degree and its accompanying debt. Some of you are saddled with a heavy debt load without having found a job. Yet both parties continue to perpetuate the lie that college is a good investment, rather than admitting that it has been a ripoff for so many of you. The loss of the American dream and the financial albatross of student loan debt is bad news. But the bad news is only going to get worse as long as the Republicans and Democrats remain in power. These two parties, before you were born, began mortgaging your future. The result is the mess we have where there is insufficient revenue to pay for the current system of benefits. Neither political party is willing to make the structural changes necessary to restore the American dream for you. In fact, ever more severe austerity measures are likely to be imposed that will act as a toxic dump on America's youth by increasing your burden of indebtedness and financial hardship. Their austerity measures will involve increasing your taxes, will offer no plan to relieve the burden of your student loan debt, and will have no plan for bringing back to America good-paying manufacturing jobs. The absurd injustice of the current system can be gauged by knowing that, no matter how one looks at it, roughly half of Social Security's cost of operation involves taking what little money you have by imposing a crushingly regressive Social Security tax of 15% on your gross income that otherwise would be mostly expended on the necessities of life, and giving it to retirees having income much greater than you who spend it on luxuries. You know how unjust the American system is to you. Many of you voted for Barack Obama in hope of change and have since become quite disillusioned to now recognize that change we can believe in is nothing more than politics we've seen before. President Obama is just another democratic politician. But that's no reason to wallow in cynicism and feelings of hopelessness. Your energy, your idealism, your passion for justice, yes, your patriotism, 
was phenomenally successful in proving Obama's slogan that, yes, we can change America. It's just that your energy, your idealism, your passion for justice was misdirected in support of a candidate from a political party. But from the experience, you have become seasoned veterans in the knowledge that change can never come from political parties, none of which could ever be worthy of your support. Some of you have been attracted to libertarianism as expressed by Congressional Representative Ron Paul. While libertarianism and Representative Paul have a number of notable contributions to make to a comprehensive policy for the common good, a fatal flaw dooms Paul's libertarianism as the entire solution to America's many problems. In a nutshell, although Representative Paul acknowledges that many individuals, corporations, and institutions have gotten wealthy by ripping off the system and robbing you of your future, he would do nothing towards requiring those individuals, corporations, and institutions to pay restitution. Instead, Paul would let them keep their ill-gotten gains and, as a result, would effectively cement in place the concentration of power and the inequality of wealth and income that must be lessened for the American dream to be restored to you. Representative Paul displays a vulgar understanding of libertarianism as long as he remains silent about the demand for justice for such restitution. The foremost libertarian scholar of the 20th century, who ironically was a friend of Representative Paul, Dr. Murray Rothbard, specifically dealt with just this problem in his discussion about land monopoly in third world countries. Dr. Rothbard wrote, in essence, that it was foolish to extol the benefits of free markets without first redistributing the concentration of monopoly wealth that had accrued in few hands that was a direct result of the merger of corporate and state power. A truly free market, a truly libertarian society devoted to justice and property rights can only be established by first ending unjust claims to property. It should be clear that libertarians must take their stand on a theory of just versus unjust property, only recognizing private property claims that are just. Former Senator of Louisiana Huey Long put it this way. How many men ever went to a barbecue and would let one man take off the table what's intended for nine-tenths of the people to eat? The only way you'll ever be able to feed the balance of the people is to make that man come back and bring back some of that grub he ain't got no business with. The enormous gain in wealth that has accrued to the top 1% over the past four decades and that has resulted in such inequality was not earned through a free market or through free enterprise, but rather through an unholy alliance of exclusive governmental privileges between big business and government in a system akin to bribery. The theft has shaken America to the breaking point. Restoring America will require restitution in the form of a one-time wealth tax from those who have robbed, financially raped, and pillaged the nation. Obviously, such a rotten system needs to be overthrown, not through violence, but by rallying into one movement with the huge number of Americans who are in a similarly unsatisfying situation. If America's youth rallies to citizens for the common good, we would come very close to having the numbers we need to truly begin changing America. Never yield to evil. The injustice done to you by mortgaging your future is the supreme social evil. An exact form of taxation without representation America's founders listed as one of their grievances. But the United States was created to establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, and promote the general welfare for the benefit of all its citizens, current and future, to bring about the disappearance of these noble ideals so as to enrich themselves is the aim and purpose of the financiers behind the Republican and Democratic politicians.
that evil purpose must be defeated in its effort to make honest patriots turn away from their country in cynicism. Don't get down or cynical about our country's ideals because of the massive amount of propaganda and hypocrisy you have correctly seen. Don't let the corruption of the American political system weigh in the scales against your right to full citizenship in American society. It looks pretty bleak right now because, quite frankly, it is. But that doesn't mean it has to stay this way. Have the courage to turn a blind eye to the Republican and Democratic parties. They offer nothing for you. It is in just this time that your country needs you more than ever. To that end, consider affiliation with a budding mass movement for the common good. Consider making a pledge of $25 or more to our future citizen candidate and get a citizen for the common good yard sign, bumper sticker, or button to let your community know there's a third choice blossoming in America. On behalf of Citizens for the Common Good, we hope you decide to join with us because America needs a third choice.